C L E M S O N T I G E R S. Fight tigers, fight tigers, fight, fight, fight. Hey, I had to start the video off like that, man. What's up? It's your boy. AOT Tom West, man. Y'all know what day it is. The College Football Playoff National Championship, man. Huge day for both programs, Alabama and Clemson. Uh, the first rematch ever in college football history. That's huge in itself. Um, Alabama and Nick Saban. I think Nick Saban is... Uh, if he wins tonight, he's working on his uh, sixth title, I believe. So that's huge. Uh, first time that Clemson has been to national championships back-to-back -back years. So that's huge for our program as well. I'm going to talk and I'm going to break down this game. No bias. No bias. Even though I have on all the Clemson stuff. Like, you see me, I literally have on everything Clemson, man. You feel me? Everything. So, you know what I'm saying? No bias, though. I'm going to keep it completely real. I'm not going to show any bias at all whatsoever. So let's get it. I'm going to break down the Clemson side of how they're going to win, if they're going to win. Um, Clemson, the one advantage that you do have is that all the pressure is on Bama. Everybody's already expecting Bama to win. Nobody's – we're a seven-point underdog. So everybody's already expecting Bama to win. So as Clemson, all you got to do is come out and play. You just got to come out and do your thing. Bama, all the pressure is on Bama. That's really what it is. Same as last year. All the pressure was on Bama, but they handled it well. You know what I'm saying? This year, it's the same ordeal. All the pressure is on Bama. Nobody's expecting us to win. Nobody's even giving us a chance. And that's okay. And the same thing gets Ohio State. That's fine. We don't want anybody to believe we can do it. That's what we need. We need to use that as fuel. Deshaun Watson, bruh, the interceptions, stop it. You cannot do that in a game like this. You need to play like you want to get drafted, number one. You need to play like you want to get drafted by the Browns tonight. Because if you don't, we're going to lose. It just flat out see it. All those interceptions. Deshaun Watson, if he throws more than two, if he throws two or more interceptions, we lose the game. We're not going to win. The turnovers have to be at a bare minimum. Um, the secondary of Clemson, Jadar Johnson, Van Smith, um, you know what I'm saying? Those guys... Cordero Tankersley, uh, Mark Fields, um, Marcus Edmond. Those guys had to play a great game. And as well as the front seven, too, because their wide receiving core is it's not great. You have O.J. Howard, that's basically a tight end slash wide receiver. And then you have um, Calvin Ridley. So if you can shut the pass, that would be amazing. Jalen Hurts is not the best passer. So if you can play up. Man to man, kind of like what they basically what they did against Ohio State. Play up, man to man, squeeze in the middle, shut down the run. If you can do that, you're good. Um, same ordeal. Hit Bo Scarborough early and often, early and often, as well as Jalen Hurts when they run a little read option. Hey, if Jalen Hurts don't touch the ball, give him a little nudge. If he hands it off, give him a little hit. Do something. Throw him off his game because you're going to have to do everything in your might to stop Alabama. This team could possibly be one of the best teams I've ever seen. So I honestly think this Bama team may be a little bit better than last year's Bama team. So with that being said, Clemson's going to have to play all out almost perfect to win this game. Um, on the offensive side of the ball, man, just don't turn over the ball. One thing that a lot of people did not notice is that last year, Mike Williams was not in the game. Deion Kane was not in the game. Our, our, star, our, uh, our star cornerback, Mackenzie Alexander, now plays for the Minnesota Vikings. He was out of the game. Um, Shaq Lawson was playing probably at like 40% last year in the game. Now plays for the Buffalo Bills. Um, we were very, very much injured last year. This is, we're, we're completely healthy this year. Nobody's hurt. So that's going to be huge for Clemson, uh, as well. Now for Alabama to win, just be Alabama, bro. Run the ball, put seven in the box and play. That's all you got to do. Bama, just do what you always do. Um, but the secondary is going to be super important. I mean, the wide receiving core that Clemson has is good. Mike Williams, Artavis Scott, Hunter Renfro, um, 
Deion Kane, like, you might as well say Jordan Leggett, even though he's a tight end. This wide receiving court is ridiculous. Ray Ray McLeod. Um, I mean, I can keep going. Like, this, this wide receiving core is crazy good. So, that's going to be very important. That secondary for Bama, going to have to play almost a perfect game. That the same as Clemson on the, on the secondary. But their front seven, they can just go out there and show out like they always do. Um, if I had to go tick for tat on O-line, D-line, I'm going to go tick for tech. I think that Alabama probably has a better O-line and D-line. Um, I think Clemson has the better quarterback in Deshaun Watson. I think that Clemson probably even probably has the better running back in Wayne Gollerman. And Clemson also has the better wide receiving core than Alabama. I would say the only places that Clemson gets beat on is the defensive side of the ball and the O-line. I would say the O-line of Alabama is better. The defensive line of Alabama is better. The linebacker core of Alabama is better. And the defensive backs for Alabama is probably better. But everywhere else, I think Clemson got them beat. Um, Bama, man, they're going to come out and play hard in those football. I think it'll be a, a rough game, tough game. If Clemson loses this game, will I be upset? No. Come on, bro. It's Bama. Like, if it was Washington, even Ohio State, no no offense. Uh, who's another team that could have? Penn State, Wisconsin. Now, if it was us going against them in the championship and we lost, yeah, I would be pissed because we're supposed to beat those guys. But Alabama, man, can you really get upset about it? No, come on. It's Alabama, you feel me? So that's really what it is right now with that. Um, Personally, man, I just feel like Clemson's going to have to play their best game, bro. And that's it. If they don't play their best game, they will lose. Um, I got to take, the, I gotta take my team, man. I'm taking Clemson in this game. I'm going out on a limb. Taking Clemson in this game, man. I think it'll be another high-scoring one. Give me Clemson. 35-31, man. Straight like that, man. I think Deshaun Watson shows up tonight. You know what I'm saying? I think Clemson gets the dub. I got to go with the home team. I feel like Bama is going to play better than what they did last year on defense. So that's why I gave it 35 points. But I think Clemson offense is also... Going to be off. I mean, like, we're really forgetting that this Clemson def offense put up 31 points on a really good Ohio State offense with, like, three interceptions, two interceptions. The, the, if Clemson does not turn the ball over, they're blowing out Ohio State 45 to nothing easily, easily. So, um, really excited about the game tonight, man. I hope we can pull out the dub. If not, man, it's Alabama. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, best of luck to Alabama as well, man. I know you guys will play a good game against us. Nothing but sportsmanship for you guys. Y'all guys are the program to look up to. There's no disrespect towards Bama whatsoever, even if we lose, even if we win. You know what I'm saying? They beat us last year. So even if we did win, we still can't talk much crap. They beat us last year. So that's what it is. And I'm going to tune out on that, man. Go Tigers, man. Let's get this win today. You guys, if you like this video, uh, subscribe. Um, like the video, man. Comment. Do whatever you need to do, man. Uh, keep subscribing to the channel, man. I'll see y'all later. Peace out.